Well, new this morning is St. Pete mom making it her life mission to reduce overdose deaths in the U.S. She created a, something called Interact Lifeline, a technology service focusing on keeping people connected to treatment after rehab. And that's not all. She's also launching a new app next year to detect a potential overdose and get help to that person's location. Let's bring in ABC Action News reporter Keely McCormick now. And Keely, you found out that there was a very personal reason behind her mission. Dia, her work came after devastation hit her family. This here is the number of people who died from an overdose in 2022. That's according to the CDC, and it's more than 100,000 people. Carolyn Bradfield's daughter is one of the many who overdosed and died. We got a knock on the door at 430 in the morning. A knock that changed the Bradfield's lives forever. Like many, many families over the over the you know, past years, um, I had a personal tragedy in my family. My daughter overdosed and died at Christmas. A tragedy that most mothers never fully recover from. But Carolyn Bradfield tells me she felt her daughter's death was a call to action. Pretty soon after her death, I started researching, you know, why were people relapsing and overdosing at such a high rate. From there, Bradfield used her technology and business background to create Interact Lifeline. It's a technology service that focuses on helping recovery programs and keeping people connected to treatment online after rehab. She's also working on an app that will launch next year. This will actually be able to detect when someone's about to overdose. It's designed to prevent um, overdoses and overdose deaths by taking data out of your fitness tracker and smart watches. The app connects with your Apple Watch, Fitbit, or whatever you use to track your fitness. From there, it monitors your vitals and heart rate, and the team can detect a potential overdose. So the minute that we see that happen, we reach out, we give you 30 seconds to answer us, are you okay? But at the same time, we're also alerting your emergency contacts. The app has your exact location, so they can get help to you as soon as possible. Bradfield tells me this would have saved her daughter's life. Now my daughter, um, when she overdosed, um, she was a mile from a trauma hospital. She was a, a, around a lot of people. They did not intervene. She hopes this app can save lives and prevent other families from dealing with the devastation that her family went through. She also encourages everyone to have Narcan in your cabinet or even just carry it in your purse because that can save a life. I put locations giving out Narcan on our website for you. That's abcactionnews.com.